What is up, Scrubs? X Wrestler here, and today you're watching some Black Ops gameplay. I don't know, just some random ass gameplay that I have in the background. And I'm with my friend Hunter. Hi. And uh, yeah, he's over at my house right now. He's doing a commentary with me. And I know my aim is pretty bad on here, but that's just from playing Destiny. And once you play Destiny, it's like nothing like Call of Duty. You have to change your sensitivity down a lot. Can you stop playing with stuff on my table? <laughs> it's a quarter. All right, but anyways. So today. We're doing some funny moments that we had in our life, and we're going to talk about them and give you some kind of funny stories that we've had. And we have two, really, we want to share about, and if they spark any other memories, we'll start telling those. But uh, first off, I guess uh, whenever... <laughs> so I, w I used to go to a private school in, uh, like before kindergarten. I've been at school since I was two, and it, I know it's terrible. But I went to a school since I was two, and then in kindergarten, I moved to uh, this another school that was right by my house, and Hunter happened to go to it. And, you know, I got put into his class in first grade, and I believe it was one of the first days of school. I see this weirdo-looking little faggot, and... <laughs> That's me that he's talking about, if you, if you weren't sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we roast each other all the time. It's no big deal. But anyways, um, yeah, it was the first day of school, and in elementary school, you had to stand outside... You had to stand outside the door of your teacher, and you had to stand out there until they came, and then you could walk in and talk to your teacher, and you know get your get your assignment for the day, start working on it, work on your letters and writing and colors or whatever. But it was the I believe it was one of the first days of school, and uh, this first morning, I see this little kid come in, and he's he walks away to the front of the line where I was and stands in front of me. I had it like that. I could, I could do that. You didn't know me. I could walk up to any. Any front of the line that I wanted to. If I wanted to walk up to the front of the line of a strip club, I could. Even at that age. I, I had that. I had that opportunity. <laughs> yeah, just, yeah, okay, just as you say. But, <laughs> but anyways, so we were in first grade, and I didn't know anybody because I was new to the school. And all of a sudden, he walks up and starts talking to me. And I'm like, why is this kid talking to me? <laughs> but because I thought he was a weirdo. Because the first thing he says whenever he walks up to me, he looks at me and says, hey, dude, look at my feet. And... I don't know why he said that, but he was just starting to talk to me, and he was like, hey, dude, look at my feet, and he, like, picks his foot up and shows me his shoe, and, you know, back in the day, everybody wore those white tube socks that we would kind of, like, push down to our ankles to try and look cooler, and, you know, because that was just the trend and everything, and I swear Hunter started this trend. I'll tell you in a second, but, so he starts talking to me about his socks, and he's like, hey, dude, look at, look at my feet. And he pulls his shoes back. I didn't see any socks. So I was just assuming he wasn't wearing any. And I was like, where are your socks? And he's like, That's, you haven't seen them yet? And I was like, no. And he's like, dang, these things are awesome. So he pulls his shoe back, and he's wearing no-show socks. And everybody's probably thinking, wow, how cool, no-show socks. Everybody wears those now. Or I actually know they wear, like, Nike Elites now. Yeah. But, um... So he was wearing these no-show socks, and I didn't think he was wearing any socks at all. So, you know, I thought it was the coolest thing in the world. It was. So, <laughs> so we became friends after that, and, you know, I had to go out and get some no-show socks. You know, I couldn't, of course, because I couldn't drive, but I had my mom go out and get me a bunch of no-show socks. Like, literally, that was all that was in my sock drawer after that. And so I had a bunch of no-show socks, and pretty much everyone else in the school started wearing no-show socks because of Hunter. It, <laughs> he, was, he was a trendsetter. Still am. If you, if you were to look at my outfit right now, you you would understand that people love me because of my outfit. Like, if you go to my school on the first day, if I were to wear this outfit right here, which you can't see it, but I'm, I'm just going to give you a little rundown. Some moccasins, no socks, uh, red and black gym shorts, and a blue, white, and red t-shirt. Red, white, and blue. Red, same thing. America, uh, baby. America. <laughs> People, if I were to wear, wear this on the first day of school, people would wear it every single day. I mean, I, I, I have that effect on people. Oh, yeah, definitely. If I'm wearing something, they're going to wear it, too. It's like, like Justin Bieber. When he had his long hair, people wanted his long hair. They Who's literally it? wanted his hair. Yeah. They literally <laughs> wanted his like hair. They would go cut it off. <laughs> That's what people do when I walk into school wearing outfits. They take my pants off. <laughs> <laughs> they take his clothes off. <laughs> They want him to rip it into pieces and tape it to themselves. <laughs> That's what they do with Justin Bieber's hair yeah. too. <laughs> I got a strand of his hair. Oh my god! Look, I'm taping my head. <laughs> <laughs> but no, seriously, yeah, he did start a trend. But uh, yeah, don't listen to him. He he doesn't start any trends nowadays. He's a loser. Yeah, I, I started that trend too. He's Ann Fadget. Yeah, he started the loser trend. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> 
the cool kid that comes home and plays college. But yeah, anyways, so later on, probably third grade or whatever, he, he there was a new school that opened up, and he was uh, he lived across the street from where I did. And the zone was pretty much right across the street. So he had to go to a different school than I did. So I never really talked to him a whole lot. And, you know, we kind of shared the same friends. And one of my friends was having a birthday party this one day. And, you know, he was going to the birthday party too because it was one of his friends. And so we, we were all at this birthday party. It was almost like this horse place. But it had, like, a swing set and this, like, it wasn't a barn, but it was, like, I don't really know how to call YMCA. it. Yeah, it was almost, it's almost like a YMCA if anybody has, like, a YMCA in the woods near where they are. You know, it's kind of like that. And we were at a place like that, but it was like this horse barn thing. And so we were eating lunch, and he wasn't eating because he was an anorexic little uh, piece of doo-doo. I don't know what happened. <laughs> I'm just joking. But anyways, um, he wasn't eating. Well, he already ate, I guess. And he was on he was on the swing set. And I was walking by to get on the swing next to him because I haven't talked to him in a while. And I wanted it to talk to him and you know kind of refresh how we were and everything and why are you still messing with stuff on my table <laughs> that calling my name. <laughs> Hunter, I'm sorry George you're Ann Fadget <laughs> okay but anyways anyways so I was talking to him or I wanted to go talk to him just you know to see how he is and everything and so I was running past him and I looked directly at him and he was on those little swings that I don't know if you guys know what they are they're like these two person swings they have a pole on the middle, and there's a swing on both sides of the pole, and you go back and forth. One person goes forward, and the other person goes backwards. Almost like a teeter-totter that hangs, and it goes back and forth constantly or whatever. But, uh, yeah. So he was on that, and I was going to go talk to him and sit next to him on one. And he was on it alone, and one of the seats wasn't there. So one of the, and so one of the edges actually was just a straight-up piece of metal, and it was kind of sharp, and it was not safe at all. I have no clue why they had it there, but it was there. And, um, so yeah, he, <laughs> okay, but <laughs> anyways, so he was sitting on that swinging and, um, so I run past him, going to get on the swing beside him and I look at him cause he calls my name. I'm not sure what he was doing, but he calls my name. I look directly at him and the swing set hits me directly in the head and knocks me out. I was unconscious. Yeah. Boom. Okay. That was not needed, but that, that's what it sounded like. Cause he's very hollow headed. <laughs> no, it, it no it, it, it hurt it hurt my head though, but um so I got knocked out and I was laying unconscious on the floor you know my mom comes running towards me picks me up and um you know Hunter was just sitting there on a swing still like nothing happened with my no show socks with his no show socks everybody was wearing them at the party even my mom <laughs> yeah even the clown yeah hey hey that's not funny <laughs> no I'm not talking She's, about Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let me rephrase, the horses. The, ho the horses had on their no show socks. Okay, but anyways, yeah, oh, so... <laughs> okay, but anyways, yeah, so... I had to go to the hospital, and I had stitches in my head, all because he was riding on that swing, and he really wanted to, and he called my name as I was running past. He wouldn't call my name. Everything would have been fine. But, you know, it's all his fault. His, na his name's catchy. Jacob! <laughs> okay, but anyways, guys... Yeah, we don't really have anything else to talk about today. Plus, the video is getting kind of long. Hunter, if you have anything else to say, go ahead. Uh, I eat 24 eggs each month. Um, really helps with my uh, my butt getting softer. I figured I'd throw that in there because uh, I asked, I got I got a question asked to me the other day while I was at the mall uh, by some old lady. She was asking me. Uh, how my buns are so <laughs> Shut up, honey. No, she didn't. No, she didn't. I'm going to go to the mall. I'm a loser. I stay home. He doesn't have a big butt either. So just Dude, have you seen me during football season? It's flat. He, he, he only plays football, so people can look at his butt, but he doesn't play football anymore. Cause he's Ann Fadget. No, because I had to retire. I, uh, I broke some kid's neck last season. He actually got a concussion, and he's not. No, that was from basketball. Can you stop playing with stuff, stuff on my desk? Okay, but anyways, guys, I hope you all enjoyed, and that's about it for today. If you want to see more commentaries with Hunter, just tell me. Let me know. Leave a like down below. My birthday is in two days, so definitely drop a subscription for that. Mine's in about two months. A little less. So a little more. A like for that, too. A little more. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, his channel will be down in the description below. He does daily vlogs, or he needs to start. He used to do I, daily vlogs. I'm taking vlogs. a little two-week two break. I, I, to kind of get settled down for my beach trip. 
Yeah, but he's gonna start doing daily vlogs again, you know, daily life of the game, or funny, funny vlogs and stuff like that, like little comedy sketches. But yeah, guys, that's about it. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you on the next one.